Hey everyone, it's Dr. Krad. In this video, I will show you how I approach cataract surgery in patients with wet macular degeneration. This patient has wet macular degeneration, which required multiple monthly intravitreal injections for treatment. Her vision was initially counting fingers vision only. She's also diabetic and hyperopic. After multiple intravitreal injections by her retina specialist for macular degeneration, her vision improved from counting fingers to 2300. That's as good as her vision would get, and glasses couldn't make her vision any better. The patient was referred to me due to her visually significant cataract. Here is a video during her preoperative examination. The cataract is fairly dense, and this patient would be thrilled at even a modest improvement in vision. For patients with wet macular degeneration who have a vision potential of less than 2040, what surgical technique and lens implants would you consider? My approach is to keep it very simple, manual cataract surgery and a basic monofocal lens implant. Could one do laser assisted cataract surgery? Sure, but I don't see the point. Laser is mostly beneficial for reducing mild astigmatism with LRIs, or limbal relaxing incisions. And a patient with significant wet macular degeneration wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So one could do laser, but I think it would be wrong to charge a patient for laser LRIs that they wouldn't notice. That's my personal opinion. If a surgeon felt laser would help them perform surgery more safely, I think it would be reasonable to use the laser but the problem is that insurance companies don't reimburse anything to even cover the cost of using a laser. Even if the surgeon was willing to do it for free, there is a cost, a significant cost, to firing the laser, also known as a click fee, and insurances don't reimburse for that. For health insurances, it's not about health care. It's about health don't care, unfortunately. How about Torix or LALs in such patients? Could those be implanted? They are monofocals. If a patient would be unlikely to tell the difference between 2040 and 2020, I typically put in basic monofocals. If a patient's best correctable vision is expected to be 2040 or worse even after cataract surgery, I put in basic monofocals because with basic monofocals, most patients would have 2040 vision or better if their retina was healthy. The advantage of toric lenses and LALs are mostly to get patients to 2025 or 2020 vision. That's just my personal opinion. What do you guys think? We finished removing the cataract and after polishing the capsule, I inject her lens implant and position it within the capsular bag. I remove the viscoelastic, seal my incisions and make sure the eye pressure is normal. Here is her eye after cataract surgery. The patient is thrilled. She was a plus three hypero prior to surgery, and here is her autorefraction after surgery. Her uncorrected vision is now 2060. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for your attention. I appreciate you watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.